Welcome back, it's me Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review and today from Hasbro in their Star Wars Black Series line we are featuring Boba Fett Throne Room as he appeared in Star Wars The Book of Boba Fett on Disney+. Plus. Alright so to the best of my knowledge, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the third post Return of the Jedi Black Series Boba Fett figure that we've gotten. Um, we got uh, Boba Fett in his Tusken Raider, where he's just covered all in robes. And then we also got the Boba Fett uh, from the Mandalorian, where he's armored out, but he looks somewhat different than this one. Uh, beautiful illustration on the side and on the back. A nice little bio. Once regarded as one of the most fearsome and capable bounty hunters in the galaxy, Boba Fett seemingly met his demise in the Sarlacc Pit. A survivor to the core, Fett lived to fight another day. Alright, so it doesn't really describe the series all that well, but we have Boba Fett. Okay, so um, I enjoyed the Boba, F the book of Boba Fett on Disney+. Plus. I thought it was fun. Um, I know some people had issues with the way the character was portrayed, but I didn't mind it so much. For me, I was just excited to see uh, Tamar Morrison back. Um, you know, in the Star Wars universe. Alright, so we have uh, Boba Fett. Um, uh, the likeness to Tamar Morrison, it's, it's decent. I don't think it's the greatest. I think they could have done a bit, a slightly better job. It's not that it's ugly or anything. I think it looks alright. Um... It looks like what he's supposed to look like. You know, it comes with a blaster, his rifle, everything is there. Alright, so I'm just going to leave the weapons in the tray. They're kind of self explanatory, so. Uh, but real quick, we can look at them. Uh, on the rifle, the detailing is pretty nice. You'll notice that it has a nice combination of silver and brown. And then here's the pistol. Now the helmet is standard Boba Fett issue. It's a little bit cleaner, uh, especially after Boba Fett repaints it. If you if you recall, when he gets the armor back, um, it's kind of beat up. So at a certain point, he kind of touches it up. It still has the dent on the forehead, though. And it has the articulated rangefinder, which is a cool detail. And here's his backpack or jetpack. You know, Boba Fett has the very unique backpack, especially with the uh, elongated missile. Uh, much like his father, um, his backpack. Except I think Django had the two different sized missiles. He had the, he had the long one, but then he had the shorter one as well. I think the, the rockets here are, yeah, they're articulated. So that's cool. You can reposition them. You know, let's look at Boba himself. Again, the likeness to, to actor Tamor Morrison's decent. I think the thing that bothers me is that he looks a little bit older on the show. Like, I know he spends all that time, you know, recovering in the back of the tanks, but I kind of feel like they could have added a couple of more lines on his face uh, just to age him a little bit more. Uh, he has the scarf around his neck. Uh, he has his belt with that crazy skirt and then kind of like the baggy pants. So it's a decent figure. There's the holster for the blaster. And articulation, his head moves, um, swivels at the waist. There's actually a roll, so you can actually roll around a little. Arms move, they go out. Elbow bend, elbow swivel, articulated uh, wrists. You'll notice he has the missile pod on one arm and then the flamethrower on the other. Uh, he has the fingerless gloves, but with the red uh, lining underneath. Again, here's the skirt. And then the baggy pant legs kind of like 
uh, billow out towards the upper shin. Uh, the knee, oh wow, that's kind of interesting. So there's a thigh cut here. His knees could kick out and they could kick up. But they kind of cleverly hide the knee joint. You don't notice it from the front. But then as soon as you go to the side, you'll see the knee joint. And it's... That's kind of clever how they, how they did that. It just looks kind of awkward once you view it from the side. And then his knee pads are right there. Now let's outfit him with his helmet and his jet pack. And yeah, my jetpack does not want to sit on his back. There you go. Just required a little bit of force. And there we go. We have the book of Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Throne room. So, decent looking figure. Not my favorite Boba Fett design. And unfortunately, my backpack won't, will not hold in place. So, that's kind of a point against the figure. Uh, but overall, it's, it's it's nice. I think if you want a much more premium Boba Fett figure, you're probably going to have to opt for the SH Figure Arts one. And the SH Figure Arts one, there's actually a deluxe one. I think it's only available in Asia and Japan. It comes with a throne room. It's really impressive looking. I'm not sure if that set's available in the States. But overall, great figure for the price point. Alright, so with that being said, let's wrap this one up. Uh, once again, my name is Lou. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll see you at the next one. Alright, later.